Namaste everyone there, dear students, as usual, so it's an English class again. So we are going to deal with today, uh, curriculum vitae, developing a curri cur 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 curriculum vitae. So I hope you all know what is a curriculum vitae. So curriculum vitae, so whenever we write a job application letter, so it is sent to, uh, it is sent uh, with, an, with a job application letter. So I hope you all know, so you have got some ideas about it. So okay, <clears throat> curriculum vitae, vitae, curriculum vitae, resume, biodata, although they are alternative terms, uh, but uh, there is some difference, differences. So between them. So curriculum vitae is a Latin word whereas uh, resume is a French word. So it's a course of life, it's a um, CV, so it is a brief record so of your work experience, skill, uh, extracurricular activities and other things uh, and it is uh, if if necessary, we can extend it, means we can, it can be developed uh, means uh, from two to three Pages, okay, and it means and this uh, resume is a bit shorter than uh, CV. So okay, so as your course suggests, uh, we are going to deal with writing or developing a CV. So let's deal with it in detail. Okay, are you ready? Curriculum vitae is a summary or briefly written record of a person's education, achievements, work experience along with other relevant information sent with a job application. So curriculum vitae is a summary or briefly written record of a person's education. So it is a details about or a summary about one's education, achievements, work experience and other information sent with a job application letter. Suppose you are going to apply for a job. So CV is necessary. Okay. A CV is uh, sent. So it's a short record of the all the details that are required that, uh, an, em that an employer wants to know. Okay. Next. So okay, so in sorry in uh, curriculum vitae, it's uh, now it's uh, means uh, please turn hundred twenty eight. So it's the same. It reflects. It has got the same details that are given in your book. So and the first section that a uh, curriculum vitae has is um, is uh, personal information. So first name. Suppose you are applying for a job and your name is there and it's the, it's uh, means now personal information, name, Deepa Tiwari. It means Deepa, now this is of Deepa Tiwari's, means Deepa Tiwari's curriculum vitae, okay. So Deepa Tiwari address Bhatte Dara to Lalitpur, uh, telephone, uh, so it's the telephone number there and her mobile there and email there, it means in the first, the first part of a curriculum vitae is personal information. So which has got information on name, address, telephone, mobile, email. Okay. So it's the same means contents from your book. Next education and qualification. The next part of a CV is education and qualification, education qualifications related terms. So now here, uh, 2015 present means up to here means till date or the summer pony from 2015 present so master's degree in English education through one university Kathmandu expected means 2000 uh, means up to means uh, she expects that that will be completed so means in 2017 so next 2012 14 bachelor's degree she did her bachelor's degree dipatiwari so in english education uh, english education triven university kathmandu now intermediate uh, 2010 2011 so intermediate in education higher secondary education board bhaktapur 2008 and 9 she did her she completed her uh, slc school living certificate mahakali higher from mahakali higher secondary school lalitpur Okay, 
महाकाली देवी हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल ललितपुर ओके स्टूडेंट्स इन एजुकेशन एंड क्वालिफिकेशन इट कंटेंट्स ओके इट कंटेंट्स द डिटेल्स ऑफ हर क्वालिफिकेशन और एजुकेशन वे डिड सी डीड मीन वेयर एंड वेन वेयर एंड वेन मीन्स अ पर्सन डीड हीज अ पर्सन डीड हीज अर हर स्कूल मीन्स एस एल सी इंटरमीडिएट बैचलर्स डिग्री एंड मास्टर्स डिग्री ओके द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज work experience okay work experience means suppose now you work somewhere uh, before you means uh, means oily ko jun present bhanu na kunai job ma apply garnu bhanda agadi experience ke the related area ko experience what is that related experience it contain it contains that details so uh, uh, work experience april 2016 present english teacher she worked as an english teacher so at patan secondary school lalitpur has been teaching english to secondary level school so it is, it is the details about her current experience okay and uh, june 2014 may 2015 english language instructor enrich your english academic center uh, kathmandu taught english to adults now in the on that day on that date she uh, she worked as an english language instructor so at this uh, means institution so in kathmandu okay and she did their her responsibility was to teach english to adult learners so march 2011 uh, to march 2013 she worked as an english teacher uh, at learners academy academy bhaktapur taught english to basic level students so in work experience so work ex experience consists of details about uh, about work about work experience okay next is skills skills means now different abilities that the uh, employee is going to uh, means that employees employee that an employee possesses okay so uh, language so uh, means deepa tiwari she now she knows nepali she is a native speaker of nepali and english इंग्लिश नियर नेटिव स्पीकर फ्लुएंसी अब नेटिव स्पीकर को जस्त फ्लुएंसी फ्लुएंसी बोलना मतलब फ्लुएंटली बोल सकने एंड हिंदी सी नोज इट मीन्स सी सी कैन सी इज अ मल्टी लिंग्वल पर्सन मीन्स सी नोज नेपाली इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी कंप्यूटर स्किल्स गुड कीबोर्ड स्किल्स फैमि फैमिलिटी विथ मीन्स सी इज फैमिलियर विथ वर्ड excel and powerpoint driving and she knows uh, how to drive four wheeler as well and she has got license as well okay and next is training workshop conference means so means uh, now if means now this training work and conference so this section consists of the details that she did a lot to uh, to enhance her uh, means uh, let's say ability so in that related field so what type of training she attended uh, works of attended and conference attended is that clear next miss now in on 5th, 13th and 15th february 2015 she attended 21st international conference of ne nepal english language teachers associations so it's a it's, a, it's an association so that conducts different types of uh, seminars training and conference on uh, developing teachers ability to teach uh, well okay so 4 5th october 2013 so creative writing conference he attended that organized by asian english language teachers creative writing group okay and next is the last one 8th uh, to 12th april 2012 so teachers professional development training he attended that and it was organized by national center for educational development okay now i think you have noticed the way uh, the details have been written so from the most recent to the least recent one next so what are her interests okay or extra curricular her extra curricular activities uh, performance so she uh, means interest her interest is in is interest are in drama both acting and directing singing and she was the member of university choral society writing children's literature 
and the last one is references or referees which is also uh, termed as referees so referees means uh, uh, means it consists of the name of people so who would give for means let's say uh, the reference about you so if an employer means uh, if an employer wants to know about your means personal about your personal career and professional career he may he or she makes a call to these references so at least two references must be given so one is there uh, dr zairaz awasti professor Tri tribune university kathmandu khograz baral director general department of education bhaktapur okay students now um, i think you got some ideas okay so how to write this is the this was the format or the model presented in your book so now uh, i have mentioned here the key points or the things that are mentioned the parts of a cv okay the first one if you note if you remember the first thing that we dealt with is personal personal information where the employer men, uh, means uh, where, where where the where an employee mentions name address telephone number okay telephone number email address mobile number is that clear next education and qualifications so where we mention or an employee mentions uh, what uh, means uh, about her about his or her qualification means when did we or she passed her his or her uh, SLC okay SLC and then intermediate bachelor's degree master's degree in detail where and where okay which institution university work experience before means applying this job um, apply for the certain applying for a person a certain job where did he or she work okay work so work experience skills means now different things like language computer skills you could also include others if you have got any next training and works for conference means related trainings what what type of trainings or workshops or uh, conferences has she or he uh, attended attended okay extracurricular activities extracurricular activities also means uh, interest okay interest or let's say um, hobbies okay so like drama we talked about that dipatiwari so drama acting so extracurricular activity curricular activities references means the names of the details the details of a person who would give positive information about your personal career career so personal or professional career you shouldn't mention basically professional one okay you should means this references re, shouldn't be your relatives okay now we saw the details now we should know what are the guidelines so while developing a cv or let's say curriculum vitae are you ready for it students i hope you are listening to me very attentively so let's go ahead again so parts of a, a curriculum vitae we saw all this next so guidelines for developing a cv or writing a cv it's mean the same uh, means the same so first one create a format and use template you may choose the way you prefer so format means you saw the format yeah so it's given in your book 100 so we just saw just now um, a bit uh, 28, 228, and 229. So create a format and use a template. First, you need to develop a format and use a template means uh, means references. Reference means you should take a means model model. Okay, so you may choose the way you prefer. Means that was not the only format you, you could follow. So, but you shouldn't miss the basic parts. The basic uh, means basic uh, elements okay but you could uh, mention you could develop as the way you would like to do okay next use a4 size paper usually it should it should be not more than two pages so usually it should not mean it, it, it doesn't mean that it should always be in two pages usually it's not it shouldn't be in more than two pages okay next is start with personal details 
start with start with personal details at the top of the page means the first part is personal details so as we have already talked about it we mention name uh, address telephone number mobile email okay mention the history of qualification and work experiences in a chronological order that is start with the most recent achievements and mention <coughs> sorry key uh, achievements in short now so chronological order means the order where we present uh, most recent achievements first okay you know, first 2015 and then 14 and then 12 like that it is called chronological order means the way they happen uh, mention key achievements in short means now employer doesn't have time enough time to go through all the details that you mentioned that's why you should mention the key things insert okay in brief next extracurricular activities mention those that create positive effects means positive effects or that are related to the uh, job that you are applying for okay positive effects of chaine kura haru matrai lekhne bhaye pa te lekhnu bhayena haina aba jasto positive effects positive impression create hune khalko kura haru lekhnu par next two references are preferred so although you may have a, lo a long list of references you should mention only two okay two references are preferred uh, so uh, means now what details do we need to give first name and designation what is his or her position is his director teacher principal what designation okay address email phone number avoid your relatives as your references means ab afno relatives haru ko name dinu bhayena haina okay okay if you give so he or she may have ne negative impression about you so bullets are used to facilitate reading so if you write in a long paragraph so it will be uh, means uh, it will be difficult for the employer to go through your writing that's why bu bullets are preferred to facilitate are used to facilitate means to sajilo parna reading okay keep sentences short and simple we have already uh, mentioned about it talked about it you should be able to show why you are the best candidate for the job your employer doesn't have time to go through your detailed cv so this means the same here short and simple because they don't have time to go through your detailed cv and you should need you should need able to show why you are the best one avoid errors spelling date emails contact number now you should uh, while developing a cv you should uh, strictly see means carefully uh, uh, means uh, read uh, spellings dates and emails and contact number before you submit it okay because uh, they may have negative impression they would develop negative impression about you so update the cv do not fold it so if you fold it it may look uh, means not it, it may not look good that's why you shouldn't try to fold it and the other is the update the cv so cv should be updated from time to time okay students now i hope that you got details ideas how to develop a cv and what are the guidelines what are the necessary things that we should uh, keep into mind uh, while developing a cv and your your book says there <coughs> The sentences given below, so it's the same uh, means text, so on the slide from book, from page 130. The sentences given below go together to form a complete letter of application, but they are not they are in the wrong order put them in the right order students uh, so we need some uh, we need a class for it so next day we are uh, going to deal with how to write a job application <coughs> job sorry job application later so however your t your book uh, mentions here uh, uh, means uh, the sentences that are needed for developing a job application so anyway so i i think you all know how to develop a job application so so take the reference of your let's say um, means your knowledge and let's see what are there <clears throat> dear sir and then moreover on num numerous occasions i have had to take duties of a librarian since the librarian has uh, several prolonged bouts of illness prolonged means lengthy okay bouts means period periods of illness 
I therefore feel confident that I can fulfill my duties and responsibilities. My duties here include the general supervision of different sections as well as looking after the periodical section. So with reference to your advertisement in the News Express of 28th January, I would like to apply for the post of an assistant librarian. Okay. I have been look, working as an assistant librarian at my own school. I am a single, 24 years of age, and I have completed my trainings on library management from Future Stars Institution. Okay, if I am given the post, I can assure, assure you I will do my best to give you satisfaction. I have enclosed all the required testimonials and certificates, so along with CV, with this application. Yours sincerely, uh, fully viva. So it should be uh, yours faithfully anyway. So, uh, okay students, so these sentences are not in an order, okay? They are not in an order. Now you have to put them in an order, how they come in a job application later. So maybe uh, many of you have already uh, started arranging them. Let's arrange them, arrange them. let's uh, arrange them. I hope now we can do better. Next, dear sir, so first what comes? with reference to. Now first what do we do? We mention reference and subject, why we are applying for the job. With reference to your advertisement in the News Express of 20th January, I would like to apply for the post of an assistant librarian. This is an order. Next, now you give the details about your age and qualification and experience as well. So I am a single miss unmarried, 24 years of age, I have completed my training on library management from Future Star Institution. So now there, I have been working as an assistant librarian at my own school. Now here, so see uh, this um, uh, fully viva is working as an assistant librarian. Okay, and duties are my duties. My duties here include general supervision of different sections as well as looking after periodical section, okay? Next, moreover, on numerous occasions, many times, I have had to take duties of the librarian since the librarian has, has had uh, several prolonged bouts of illness, okay? The, I therefore feel confident that I can fulfill my duties and responsibilities if I'm given the post now, uh, Fully Viva is making an assurance. If I'm giving, if I'm given the post, I can assure you I will do my best to give you satisfaction. So now the enclosures. So what ha what has Fully Viva enclosed here with? So um, I have enclosed all the required testimonials, certificates, along with the D uh, CV with this application. Okay, students, now these are the order. Now what your exercise says here, rewrite the sentences of exercise one to form the job application, okay? Divide your writing into three, three paragraphs. You may add your own words or sentences to, to the application. Now what, what it says here, um, to divide into three, three uh, paragraphs, okay? And you may add your own words or sentences to the application if you can, if you would like to add some more words or sentences, you could do that. Obviously, you could do that. So I have drawn here, so let's see. So three paragraphs there. So first one, so first is about the reference and the, what is this? About subject, means why you are applying for the post of an uh, assistant librarian. So now, uh, gives, uh, now, fully gives information about her marital status and here means age, about trainings, okay, about her duties, okay, uh, all these things that she are doing there, she have been doing, means fully by is doing there. Next now she makes an uh, assurance, so if I am given the post, I can assure you will do my best, so I will do my best to give you satisfaction, so and the enclosures, what she has um, enclosed there with the the CV okay okay students now your text says now prepare a CV last one now prepare a CV for the application above so this is the for what 
assistant library. Now we are, we are going to have a means we are going to, now I am going to develop a CV on the board. Students, I hope you are listening to me very attentively. Let's see. So because in near future, we are, you are going to, you have to apply for the job and for that you should know how to develop a CV. So let's do, let's develop. Are you ready with your pen and all the necessary things? Okay, so we are developing a CV uh, related to Miss CV for the post of an assistant librarian. So the details that we mention, what are they? Personal information, uh, education, qualification, work experience, skill, trainings, extracurricular activities, any re references. Okay, the first thing that we do is we mention personal details. First, personal information. Okay, next, um, here what we mention, we mention name, okay, name, uh, date of birth, or uh, let's say Niruta Joshi, uh, date of birth, so 13th May 1993, so next, Mailing address, oh, sorry, mailing address, um, Teku to Kathmandu. Next, mobile, mobile number, cell phone number. Is it? Okay, next, email. Okay, Niruta, just anything that your, your real email address, and this is just, a, um, it, I'm just writing it as, an, as a model, okay, one model. So Niruta, the gmail.com. Next, education. Now, what is now? Leave single line space, okay? Single line space, after it, mention education. Education. So now you, you give the details about education. So I have told you that use a template. So I feel that if you mention this way, it will be easier for you. Label label and then institution institution or university year label let's say masters in as it is the post for uh, for an assistant librarian so masters in for from the mo most recent ones masters degree in library science okay let's say from tribu 1 tribu 1 
यूनिवर्सिटी सिटी ईयर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन टू टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन नेक्स्ट बैचलर्स डिग्री इन बैचलर्स डिग्री इन इंफॉर्मेशन इंफॉर्मेशन साइंस ओके नाउ अगेन फ्रॉम त्रिनुवन यूनिवर्सिटी नेक्स्ट टू थाउजेंड इलेवन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन ओके नेक्स्ट again left uh, so level uh, institution university year 2014 now uh, masters bachelors now inter intermediate in library science institution higher secondary board here now 2014 now it means 2000 into 2011 okay now to uh, now school living certificate slc school living certificate let's say now sri sara sarti niketan secondary school teko okay 2008 to 2009 now what comes next what comes next now next is about work experience again single line space work experience so again give in a table so that it will be easier to the employer to go through your cv designation designation means position so what means what was your designation so when you were involved in the institution kun position ma thiyo hai designation and then designation institution where did you work or where are you working still working and year so designation you worked as a let's say assistant assistant librarian librarian okay and institution suppose suppose uh, you worked at kesar library from 2052 present till date next next again you worked as a assistant librarian at suppose you worked at nepal national library okay from 2014 to 2015 so work experience means the related experience 
for the post you are applying for, for the job you are applying for. So, okay, so it is just a module, just a, just a format, okay, example. Next, skills. Skills. Skills means now what skills have you got? What skills have you got? So skills could be about your language, one single line space, skills about now skills details, skills and details. So languages, now language suppose you know Nepali then you should write Nepali, yeah, Newari, okay, Newari obviously English, Hindi or you could write the, all the languages that you know, okay, that you can speak. Next computer, so now computer skill so you could mention that you know word x word excel and powerpoint next what you write okay, if you have many more you could mention them but insert so basic one driving so you know how to drive two wheeler motorcycle two wheeler and four wheeler as well Okay, skills, if you have many more, just mention the basic one. I have students, you are listening to me and you are reading and you are going through the details as well, so very attentively. Uh, okay, I think I can erase it because I think it is quite simple and you have already copied. So after skills, what comes? Training, workshops, and conference. So training, workshop, conference, related one. Okay, we know okay, personal details, so education, master's degree, bachelor's degree, uh, intermediate, school living certificate, and then uh, work experience, designation, what did you work there? So as, a, as an assistant library, assistant librarian again, uh, skills, so now training and workshops. So again, so first theme or what were the details, so what was the subjects, details, year or let's say date, fifth conference, fifth conference of the International Federation of Library Associations. Associations and Institution. Institution. Okay. I F L A. So International Federation of Library Association. Okay, and, and when did you attend it? So uh, 14th, let's say 14th to 17th May 2017. Okay, next, you suppose you also attended Dynamic, Dynamic Libraries Libraries Access Conference 
कॉन्फ्रेंस बाय मीन्स ऑर्गेनाइज बाय मदन पुरस्कार लाइब्रेरी ओके फिफ फॉर्म फिफ फाइव टू नाइन जून टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन नेक्स्ट नाउ यू सपोज यू ऑल्सो अटेंडेड अ वर्कशॉप अ वर्कशॉप ऑन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन लाइब्रेरी बाय ऑर्गेनाइज बाय बाय त्रिभुवन त्रिभुवन यूनिवर्सिटी सेंट्रल लाइब्रेरी ओके A workshop on transformation on transformation on sorry transformation in library okay organized by Trivandrum University Central Central Library okay students. i think you are getting the points now the next two details are left what are they they are extra curricular activities and references okay students now hobbies and interest or you could also say extra curricular activities or hobbies and interests now you could give the details or the all the activities that you are interested in that you uh, that you enjoy to do okay uh, let's say singing singing or uh, writing stories writing stories conducting researches as i have already told you that so in extra curricular activities we try to mention the details <coughs> or the activities that create positive impression about you okay the don't just write all the things that you are interested in you you have to mention the ones that create positive impression about you next the last one is references so references means the name of person that would give positive uh, information about you uh, your professional about your personal career professional and personal pro, ma mainly professional career okay the first one okay mrs okay robina mohanson first name and then designation principal Sri Sara Sati Niketan address. Okay, secondary school. Uh, name, designation, address, phone number. Phone uh, address, phone number. Mm, okay, email address first. Email.
gmail dot com. Okay, nine eight four. Okay. Next, at least two. Mr. Raman Sresta, Kesar Library, Raman Sresta at the rate of gmail.com. Okay, students. Now, these are the things that we mention while developing a CV. And uh, remember that uh, when you develop a CV, it must uh, look beautiful or let's say you have to develop in certain way that uh, the reader or the employer would feel easy to read. Okay, so if you notice, I've just written in a bullet form, yeah, and in, in just uh, the line just below this means the lay, means the details just one after other, and in the uh, okay, the date is means missed here. So you can miss. Is it fifth to nineteenth, tenth, two thousand fifteen. Okay, now and then the details are written in short and uh, and in such a way that the reader or the employer would feel really easy to understand. Just create the format and use a template so that you would feel better and easy to develop a CV because because if you write a beautiful CV and a de means basic details with basic details, the employee will be very impressed with you and certainly you will get a better better job. It is it was just a format, okay? So don't worry about all the things that oh, don't say and I don't know means I have no email or I have no phone number. It is just a format for your future. So anyway, all the best uh, for uh, our next all the best for your preparations and and doing exercises. Namaste. Have a nice day. Bye.